Now, I was strolling down the damn YouTubes today and I saw something that caught my eye, right? And I think it's going to catch yours as well because I don't know if we, a lot of you guys realize what happened to the actual wreckage of the house on King Road. I'm JB Gunner. This is Crime Time. Today we're going to be talking about the destruction and the burial. That's right. Of the debris of the house. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's do it. What's going on, everybody? As you guys know, I'm JB Gunner, and this is Crime Time. Now, before we get started, let me first and foremost say thank you to everybody that supports the channel. Any of my channels, regardless of the platform, regardless of the method you choose, whether it's Cash App, Patreon, Venmo, PayPal, truth is, guys, I couldn't do this each and every day as often as I do if it wasn't for you, the Gun Squad. Big shout out to you guys. I love you so much. And if you too find my content valuable, feel free to hit the links down below. Show your boy some love. Don't mind that coffee pot in there making gurgling noises, uh, but check it out and support the channel. And if you guys aren't snowflakes and you want to check out some other content like my political channel or my live stream channel, you can check that out down below as well, as along with some other channels. But let's go ahead and jump right into this. Guys, there's not a whole lot of news when it comes to the Brian Coburg or the Idaho Four, but I did catch something last night watching Ashley Bumfield, and I think you guys uh, may be interested in hearing this, okay? The video... It's called Demolish Idaho Home Buried to Prevent Souvenir Hunting. Now, does anybody remember this ever happening with any other case? Why is the Idaho Police Department, why are they so gung-ho on keeping everything secret and now not only get, getting rid of the house, but burying in a secret location, burying the evidence that way no one can ever find it. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. But let's go ahead and continue. Let's go ahead and continue here because I want you to hear what's going on. So uh, with that in mind, I want to bring in News Nation senior national correspondent Brian Enton. He's spent weeks and weeks and weeks outside that home. I'm, I can't imagine it not being there for starters. It's sort of an eerie thought, yeah. you know? It's weird to think that it's just a big, empty lot now, especially just visually seeing it in my head because it's in between all these other apartment buildings. That is crazy. Like, I mean, at this point. Yeah. So um, you have broken some really fascinating news. This is something I've never heard happen in a criminal case with evidence, but tell me what they did with the uh, rubble. Yeah, so after the demolition, we've learned they were really, really concerned about people coming right. and trying to figure out where the pieces of the house were taken and, right. and actually trying to like get a piece of the house, which is super freaky right. and weird to even imagine someone would want to do that. But, but, but they do. Well, they do. You, well, let me ask you a question. If people wanted to take souvenirs or pieces of the house, wouldn't they already went when the house was up? Let's think about it for just a second. Wouldn't they at some point? I mean, if you're talking about people really being into this type of thing, wouldn't they have already went there and attempted to get a piece of window, a piece of siding? Like, it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense to let the house get knocked down and then it'd be all the debris be moved by the workers that are obviously there and then you try to get a piece of the, the house. None of that makes really a whole lot of sense. There's something here. There's something going on. You know, Do crime and then, yeah. souvenirs. And then they like sell it on eBay and stuff. It's it's super. It's gross. But uh, they right. were ready for that. So what they did is they took all of the pieces of the house after the demolition. Keep listening. To I know. A solid waste facility not far away where they had dug a massive hole, feet and feet and feet beneath the earth. They put everything in the hole. <laughs> and they had totally been up. Uh, he said, so "Deep, deep, deep in the down in the earth." We're going to make sure no motherfuckers dig this evidence back up. We're hoping that is a way that they can be sure that no one will do that. Because I remember, I don't even remember what month, but I remember sometime last year, there was grave concern about the process, right? Like, we've got to have it, hmm. uh, we've got to have screened areas, we've got to have chain link fences throughout, because we just can't have people coming in while the house is coming down and grabbing oh. pieces of that sort of macabre yeah. memory. Oh, yeah, why not? Set up this time. I mean, they had a media area. The people weren't allowed on the house. Look, on the watch street right in front of the house. They started very early. That I told you they were not when they when they demolished the house. They were not letting people in front of the house. 
Why? Why? The thing that surprised me the most about the whole thing was they started tearing the house down before the sun came up, mm -hmm. and most of the house was down, probably about half, uh, like right as the sun was rising. Can you just ask our producers, do we have sound on this video, by the way, that's playing beside Brian? There's sound that we can just turn up on it. I'm just, I'm always curious to sort of be transported to, I think it's silent. Is, is part of the problem they just kept us so far away that we just couldn't sort of be there and be documenting this closely? Ain't that I mean, crazy? I remember them saying, they're gonna block off every street. He had no access to get near it. Yeah, I mean, there was a- it, Let it, that sink in. Not only are they burying the debris, these motherfuckers blocked off every street. Like they were, like, I've never seen this kind of secrecy and this kind of action surrounding a case. They blocked it all off. The whole fucking thing tore down the house, wouldn't let you, the reporters, be anywhere close to it relatively at all and definitely couldn't be in front, couldn't get the frontal shots, typically, of the destruction. To me, that this is bizarre. And then to bury the house... To bury the remains of the house, I've never heard of that before. Area next to the house where the cameras could be, it, it wasn't that far away. Um, I think it's just weird to watch it come down at this state of things. Like if everything was over, maybe it'd almost be like a relief. Uh, I think you're right, it. there you are. Yeah, but it's because it, it's so, un, like everything is still so unsettled. not unsettled. Yeah. Like it doesn't feel right right now. Well, no you know shit, I'm with you. no and shit, dummy. Steve Gonzalez and uh, three of the, the victim's family members all, all feel the same way. Um, you know, Ethan Chapin's parents don't feel that way. They're, they've got kids that are still there. They have two of the triplets that are, yeah. that are still there. Can you just tell me the really good news about the Gonzalez family and what Yes, happened? Olivia had another baby. Who gives a uh, fuck? Olivia Gonzalez, Kaylee's sister, December 29th, which is your birthday, by the way. Oh, Yay, big, happy birthday. Yeah, um, get, your birthday. Big fucking um, deal. Yeah, it's really, you know, it's nice to see with everything that they've been through. And I know that brings them brings them joy. They they were in such need of joy. So this is sort of the second injection of joy, her second baby. Yeah. Uh, I'm, uh. Happy for them. I'm glad you could bring that news. And thank you for um, finding out that extraordinary detail. Yeah, it's just a sad state of our... I mean, it's kind of weird that they had to go to those extremes, but it, it just shows the world. No, they didn't have to go to them as extremes. Nobody else goes to them goddamn extremes. Right? It yeah. is. It's really odd. Um, Brian, you're the greatest. You are, Happy too. New it's Year. always nice to Man, see. what the fuck, man? We're not done, though. Seeing Idaho House demolished was gut punch, says the victim's attorney. Now, I, we've all got, here, here, in the, here in this community, it seems like everybody has is at least an agreement that the house should have stayed up. I don't know too many people in the true crime community that, that thinks the house should have went down, especially when the, we haven't even went to trial yet. All of this. It's just weird. God, I want you to tell me, is it or is it not weird that they buried the debris? Doesn't that seem like an extra step to everybody? Doesn't that seem like there's some extracurricular bullshit going on here? Why would they do that? I understand the narrative that they're giving. I understand they're saying, so we don't like take pieces of the house, but why would they give a fuck? Why would, I don't understand why anyone would get, like it, it doesn't make sense to me. That's a hell of a, like, why wouldn't you just take it to the dump and dump it off? Or why wouldn't you just, if, why wouldn't you burn it? It seems weird to dig a hole, bury the pieces of the house, and then fill the hole back up. It, it just seems strange. I don't think I've ever heard of that being done. I'm uh, at one one. Let me know in the comment section if you do it. Idaho reporting on the brutal stabbing murders of four University of Idaho students in that home back in October uh, of 2022. Uh, you're looking at that house being demolished. That was last Thursday. They, they took the whole house down. Uh, the school had been given the home and then chose to destroy it, and that decision has set off a lot of emotions, especially since the trial for accused killer Brian Koberger uh, has been delayed. The school says the prosecution, the defense, and the FBI had access to the home before it was leveled and felt, despite the objections of some victims' families, that taking it down would help the school's community heal. And I can report um, exclusively tonight, this is new, uh, that after it was torn down, the remaining pieces of the home were taken to a solid processing facility and that it was all buried several feet 
down beneath the earth. That's crazy. Concern, uh, that people would try to take souvenirs. Bullshit. So uh, the, the parts of the house after Bullshit. it was demolished were taken away and buried uh, beneath the ground. By the way, Dribbity Dropper and all them fucking clowns that's in the audience, why aren't they uh, covering up the tunnels? I thought y'all said there was tunnels. Why aren't they covering up the tunnels? Just, I'm, just, I'm just curious. Just curious. You know. And that's one thing. You know I'm going to keep talking about it. Because it, after I made my last video about the tunnels, I had a whole bunch of weirdos in the audience. You know there's tunnels under the house, JB. No, I know you're re fucking retarded. There is no tunnels under the house, period. I've shown you the blueprints. I've proven it 100%. We saw the pictures, JB. You didn't see no pictures, no goddamn tunnels. Stop it, lying sacks of shit. All of you. You guys are such fucking weirdos. You guys legitimately are. You're fucking weirdos. You can see evidence and proof. Evidence and proof that there's no fucking tunnels. And you'll still be like, yeah, but a clown told me there was tunnels. And he showed me a picture and said, look, there's a tunnel. And even though I didn't see a tunnel, I believe him it was a tunnel. So the blueprints and all of that just doesn't matter. Because some YouTuber said it. The same YouTuber that deletes his content whenever he's proven wrong, you're going to go with it. But I really like the way he dresses up for his videos, JB. You're in a bathrobe. He paints his whole face. What the fuck? What the fuck? Ground. How do victims' families feel now that the house has been taken down? I want to bring in Shannon Gray. He's the attorney for the families of three of the four victims, Kayla Gonzalez, Maddie Mogan. Goddamn uh, goobers. Uh, Shannon, uh, thank you for, be for being with us tonight. I know you put out a statement I th the day before the demolition, a strongly worded statement, essentially begging the prosecution and the university not to tear the house down. And I'm just wondering now, um, do you feel like the relationship between the families and the prosecution is is damaged at this point? Well, I don't know if we've ever had a really good relationship with the prosecution. <clears throat> In this case, you know, I, I've always talked about how the line of communication between the district attorney's office or the Lake Tahoe County prosecutor's office and the victim's family, especially the Gonzalez family, has always been pretty poor. And so I don't know if it changed in any way. Um, you know, seeing the house come down was a gut bunch. Um, I didn't realize that I would react to it so strongly, but watching it was hard. Um, and, you know, yeah. when I spoke with Stephen Christie, it was a long day seeing that. Um, so very emotional for Stephen Christie seeing that mm. house come down. Yeah, and I think the feeling about watching come down would be different, obviously, after a trial. I mean, it, there's just so much that's mm -hmm. unresolved still. Uh, I, I spoke with Stephen Christie. It's good to hear them finally saying it. was good to see the mainstream media saying that there's unresolved shit and it's weird that this is going down before the trial. At least finally, these cocksuckers are admitting it. End of, of last year, about one year after the murders, um, and we spoke about this. I, I want to play a little bit of what they said. And by the way, by the way, I want to make this clear to you, just in case you guys don't know by now that I don't give a fuck. If you're one of those Ninja Turtles that believe that someone that worked for the fucking school, the president of the school, snuck through the tunnels into the house and murdered the four kids, I want you to leave my page and I never want you to watch me again. I don't want retarded people watching me. Do you understand? And yes, if you think there, there's this big conspiracy about people going down in the sewers and coming up in houses to... Look, man, I want you to leave the page and never come back again. You're a retarded, stupid person and no one wants to associate with you. Do you understand? Now, let's get back to this. I would rather associate with liberals. I would rather associate with fucking libtards or tyrones than you fucking retards that believe they're coming up through the sewers. I'm dead serious. Leave. Destroying the house. Tearing demo the house. That's something where I think the family should have been brought in and said, what is your guys' take on it? Because we all want to be one united front. 
you can't tell me with the house being gone that you can give somebody the view of somebody parking right there, which is, you know, 200 feet away. You want to look in that window and say, oh, I can totally see somebody walking through there right now. Mm -hmm. I can see it's a red shirt that they got on. Mm -hmm. They got a bandana on. Those little details of where, oh, that's why he sat there for half an hour and then drove off. Is this good for the prosecution? Is this good for the case? You know, and I, I like I said, we don't know any of this stuff. She never Marie, knows how to talk. And they, they talk about how jury members walk through crime scenes. The fat woman right there. What's her name? What's that fat Gonsalves' name? The fat woman right there. Uh, Christy Gonzalez. Is that her name? Christy? Krispy Kreme? Anyway, she don't know how to fucking talk, man. Every single time I've ever seen her on TV, like, she always sounds so, like, lost when she's trying to say something. And she, she, it's a whole bunch of word salad. It seems like she takes, like, ten minutes to come up with one thought. A bunch of mumbling and shit. And, and stuff like that. And I'm like, this is, this is crazy. When that house goes... And it's gonna be hard. I, I, I wouldn't. I don't want to go in it. I, I've never even been to the house. I've never drove by it. I don't want to. Bullshit. But it's still gonna be when they're Bullshit. Like, that house is gone. It is going to be very emotional for me. Yes, yeah, lady, you didn't even ever drive by it. What the fuck? Steve made a good point, Shannon. About I mean, even if the inside was damaged. Uh, you know, just walking around the outside could have been helpful for the jury if they, they wanted to. Yeah, that. no shit. I want to ask you, though, about, about a trial date. The prosecution filed a motion saying they want summer of 2024. There's no trial date right now, which I know is upsetting. I mean, do you, do you have anything new on that? Well, it looks like, uh, you know, there's a, a hearing that's scheduled for the judge to reconsider some of the motions that he's already decided. And in that motion and the judge's order for scheduling, I think, a I think it's January 26th is the next hearing date. Uh, part of that hearing in the morning will be closed to the public. In the afternoon, though, there'll be an open hearing um, at one o'clock. And it says in his order that that's after that hearing that they'll be setting a time and date for trial and a scheduling order cool. in the case. So we're hopeful that that happens at that time. Hey, right. thank you for there watching. There we go. Get, your, get Chris Homo out of here. What the fuck? Where did he come from? Well, they bury in the house. Make that shit make sense. I'm curious what you guys think. I, there's clearly some cover up and some fuckery going on here. But you know what they're not covering up? The goddamn tunnels. I'm JB Gunner. This is Crime Time. Guys, let me know in the comment section what you think. And if you're one of them tunnel people, don't comment. I don't want to hear it. Just leave. Dead serious. If you, I'm dead serious, too. If you guys like what I do here, you find my content valuable, feel free to hit the links down below. Join the gun squad today. Not the tunnel squad, the gun squad. I'll see you motherfuckers later. I'm out.